Now the payoff pitch on the way. Jenko takes called, strike three at the knees. Jenko was trying to sell that it was low, but Darren Spagnardi was having none of it. Medium sized lead off the base. The pitch, take it low, popped out of the glove of Thice. Now fires down to second. That's going to be in all kinds of time. They erase the base runner. Bends at the knees into the windup, the 2 2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Got him with a slider there. And Watt says strikeout number two today. Keeping his team in the ball game. Pitch is swung on and skied out towards left center field. Going back on it, left fielder Ceballos to the wall. He looks up. That ball is gone. The first career home run for Kevin Doherty ties things up here in the top half of the fourth inning. A ball that just kept carrying and carrying. A moonshot off the bat of Cato in just his second career start as a position player. Here's the payoff pitch now from Waddell. Swung on and missed. Got him on strikes. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. And now five in the game for Brandon Waddell. Back to the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Swung on, grounded weakly right side. Charging Novak. He fields it off the roll and throws on the first in time for out number three. Brandon Waddell is now set down seven consecutive Hokey batters. One ball, no strikes on Panero. He's 0 for 2 today. The pitch swung on, lifted out towards left center field and deep. That chases Ceballos back. He can just look up and watch it go. Two run homer for Danny Panero. A big fist pump from the Cavaliers shortstop. The Who's in front, 3 to 1. Panero powering up for his fourth home run of the season. The pitch swung on, lined out towards left field. That's going to settle in for a base hit. And we are tied at 3. Sage Jinko. An opposite field RBI single. That makes today's contest a rubber match. Pitch on the way, bounced it in, goes to the backstop. Between the legs of Feist, coming home to score for third is Sage Jinko. Another wild pitch brings home another run. The Hokies are back on top. Look at first, the pitch. Swung on, lifted out towards right center field and deep. That chases back, Cable's back. He's got a long way to go. That's going to two hop and go to the wall. They're going to wave Clement around third. Relay throw is going to be cut off. Clement scores to tie things up. Have yourself a day, Kevin Doherty. An RBI double the opposite way this time. He shows pull power with the homer in the fourth. And here in the sixth, an RBI double to right center. Four apiece here in the top half of the sixth. Pitch to Hayden. Rounded right side, could be two. Novak has it. Flips, goes to second for one. Panero back on the first in time. 4-6-3 on the double play. And there are two gone here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. The wind up scores deals. Pitch is chopped towards third. Towns will pick it off the short hop, step and throw on the first in time for out number one. Long hold, the 1 0 pitch. Got it back past the mound. Novak will pick it. He'll flip to Panero at second, spinning around Danny. Fires on to first, and it goes 4 6 3 on the inning ending double play. The set at the belt from Coward and the pitch. Swung on, line towards the right side, and into right field, a base hit. Doherty has come through once again as Thice scores from third, and Virginia's on top here in the eighth inning, five to four. The look back at second, and the pitch. Swung on and skied out towards right center, and gets up into the wind, going back on it to center fielder. Clement at the wall, he leaves it, he's gone. A two-run homer here in the bottom of the eighth as Alex Perez gets it up into the high winds at Blacksburg. The Hokies are back in front, six to five. One-one pitch to Smith. Swung on, hit on the ground towards second. Picked up there by Perez. Throws to second in time for the force out. And Virginia Tech has completed the sweep of Virginia this weekend.